All right, thank you very much for joining me. This is Gullpain, back again. And today I'm going to do, I see a few people doing this. Um, Eddie at uh, Roller X Core and uh, a few other people as well sort of doing this uh, 52 game challenge. So uh, I'm not sure I can complete 52 games uh, in a calendar year. So I'm going to do my best. Um, and basically like a lot of the games that I've completed, I kind of started them like last year. So they're kind of coming into this year. So I'm just, I've just started fresh. And um, I, I, I did like two months ago, I just started writing down games and I just like, I just completed them. So um, a lot of them were um, sort of games I had not started before or games that basically I had started years ago and just never completed them. So um, I'm gonna do a few in each video and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to complete 52 games in a calendar year. I should be able to, that should, doesn't sound very hard. Um, but like a lot of the games I play are RPGs or like point to click games. So they take like, you know, 20, 30 hours to complete a lot of times. And I'm not very good at them meter so that's even longer um, so I'm, I'd, I'll just I'll, I'll hopefully have most of the games I mentioned hopefully I'll clear them or complete them so I think that's the rules of the challenge so I might change it slightly to I've played it and I've almost beaten it and I'm going to beat it at a later date or something like that and then when I have beaten it at a later date include it so I might not get to 52 but I'll do my best so let's have a look at the first few that I've been playing so first up is uh, I completed this um, I think I was playing this over Christmas and then I completed it in January. So that was uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Cause I remember, I remember going to Ireland um, and playing it on the plane. And like, I remember like the stewardess was looking at me like playing like Super Mario Brothers 3 on a, on a DS. Um, it was a Game Boy Advance game. And um, she was looking at me strangely. So I think she asked me to put it away while the, you know, the, the flight was um, inbound. But I don't think the DS can connect to internet or maybe I can, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that was one. So Super Mario Bros. 3 is the first one I completed. Um, and then after Super Mario Bros. 3, I completed Super Mario World. Um, for the Game Boy Advance. I was also playing that because I love playing those over Christmas. So I was playing that over Christmas and then it was into sort of mid-January, I think I, I finished it. Because I remember having it upstairs and I was playing it um, in bed uh, one night just before I was going to sleep um, and completed Super Mario World. Because I don't think I had completed Super Mario World before. I definitely completed Super Mario Brothers 3 before loads of times, but Super Mario World, I don't know if I actually completed that before. Uh, another game I completed, um, this, although I completed, uh, the ne this next game is Kingdom. So I completed this. Now this takes ages to complete because you have to kind of start it again. This is the one I started ages ago and kind of completed it. Um, again, I was I was visiting my friend in London and um, I, uh, I was on the train for like, I think it was like two and a half hours and I just started a game of Kingdom and then played it the whole train journey up on the Switch and then, you know, played it on the train journey back. And then I just kind of kept Going. So Kingdom is a really good game. You can start it and then play it for like hours and hours and hours and then you can actually start it again and you know it's absolutely fine because of the way the seasons go and all that but I completed it and I got all of the all the greed um, destroyed and all like the bombs brought into the if you played the game you know the bombs brought into the um, the caves as well um, I did actually complete it with my girlfriend so we completed it together we were uh, two two uh, monarchs uh, working for one goal and I've got the we also downloaded the new um, the new patch for it as well where there's like a there's like a different uh, lands new uh, even newer lands than newer lands and dead lands uh, dead lands was the one I completed uh, then the next game I completed was um, original Resident Evil now it wasn't the PS1 version this was the um the uh the version for the ps4 the kind of um the remastered one the the we the, the nintendo not nintendo 64 the gamecube version but the remastered version on ps4 so that was amazing i love that game um i never completed it before i played it on wii um, when it was Resident Evil Archives, but I never actually completed it. So I just sat down, I picked Chris, I normally picked Jail, but I picked Chris this time and, start, and just start to finish, just completed it. Just an amazing game. That only took me, a, I think it was like four hours only took me to complete as well. So I was quite impressed, because um, normally Resident Evil games take me like seven or eight hours uh, to complete. I also completed, again, after I completed Resident Evil 1, and then completed Resident Evil 0, um, so with Billy and Rebecca, and then I wanted to play as, uh, um, do the Wesker mode. So I already had Wesker mode unlocked, but then I kind of forgot what Resident Evil 0 was like, so I'm back and played it again. So I love Resident Evil 0, such a good game. Um, so that's just a few games um, over the last, I think that was over the first few months, um, of, of this year that I played those so I'm just going to count them as like I don't know the last I don't know why anyway so that'll be my first few games for the um, the 52 game uh, challenge which I'm not sure I'm going to complete but I'll try it anyway so um, if you want to get involved in this challenge just just play games and just you know get on camera and say you're completing them it's very easy and um, I don't know I'm very sorry but I don't know who the original person was that um, started this challenge because I remember seeing it months ago and I was like oh that's something I'd like to do you know just kind of document the games that I'm uh, the games that I'm playing and the games that I'm completing and all that because uh, I don't have a document anywhere so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video adios have a great week <laughs>